Hello, my name is Thomas from Marsden's Accountants. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create accounts within Xero uh, for HMRC's job retention scheme and the business rates relief. Uh, so first of all, you're going to need to log into Xero and go into your company. Uh, I'm using the demo company for this. Um, you need to click accounting and then chart of accounts. And then once you're in here, that you'll show all your accounts for your um, for your business, so sales, advertising, etc. Uh, you'll need to click add account. The account type is going to be other income. You can give the account a code. You can add a description for this as well. And then you'll need to change the tax code to no VAT. This is important as it's not going to be VATable uh, when, if you do have VAT. Uh, so then we're going to add another account, um, give it another code. Change the tax again and then click save once it's all done. Uh, so you can see here we've got our two uh, accounts set up. Uh, and now we're going to show you how to reconcile this within the bank. If you go back to your dashboard and you can see here our bank's got 28 items to reconcile. So we'll go down. We're just going to, for example, in this example, use the Maple Systems transaction and pretend that this is our payment from HMRC for the furlough scheme. So you're going to need to add the name of the contact. So it's going to be HMRC. Uh, and then for the account, we're going to put it to the job retention scheme grant. You can add a description, so I'm just going to call this furlough pay. And then once you've done that, you can see down here you've got the NOVAT, which is what we set it to on the chart of accounts. Uh, and then when you've done all that, you just need to click OK. So then your transaction's been reconciled. And that is how you add the accounts for those schemes uh, within Xero. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.